Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to Audio Tips. In today's tutorial, I'm basically going to show you guys how to open a plugin inside uh, the reverbs. Well, the verb folder inside Logic Pro, we're going to go into Audio Effects. We're going to go down to uh, Reverb. We're going to go to our first reverb today is Inverb. We're going to look at it. It's going to look a little something like this. Basically, what this, what this uh, plugin does is get, it's going to give you a reverb effect. You got your pre-delay, your attack, your decay, your sustain, your hold, and your release, which every every single uh, in, uh, a verb uh, reverb plugin has. Uh, you got your density, your spread, high cut, crossover, uh, low frequency level. Uh, basically, don't get don't get too confused by these buttons over here. Um, attack, I always put at at the lowest because I wanted to attack it right away. Uh, you can do a little pre-delay. This will give you this will give you guys a this will change the effect. And decay will also change the effect. All the other ones sustain as well. So play around with the decay, sustain, and pre-delay button. Put your attack uh, at the lowest it can possibly go, and basically uh, see what kind of effect you guys can get out of it. Hopefully, it will be positive. It will give you guys a reverb effect. I use it all the time. It's a great, uh, great plugin. Uh, and this is it. This is basically it. Uh, later on in the future, I will show you guys how I use this to get the best optimum results. But for right now, you're gonna have to try it on your own. Try to get a little bit more familiar with it. Don't get confused or, or uh, uh, demotivated. Just keep trying. Practice makes perfect. Thank you guys for watching and please subscribe.